Hey, uh, Sheldon McDonald here uh, with something exciting to share uh, with my um, disk uh, um, RS DOS disk tool. Uh, so I'm just going to load it up here and show you what I've done. Oops. So I've been pretty busy today. I've been working on uh, being able to add uh, functions into assembly language. Um, so what this will look like, um, so I have my uh, function file here. Uh, it will be like a function library. Um, the idea behind this is that you don't have to worry about uh, having duplicate labels between functions. Uh, it all ends up getting relabeled once it uh, assembles it. Um, another idea with this uh, function library is that you can pass up to 10 parameters to it in a single line, um, which is pretty sweet. Um, so this is just an example of my first function that I'm trying out with a single parameter. Um, it defines uh, my parameter as a byte, so when it sends it into my function, It'll it'll store it here, um, which is what I, how I've labeled it. Okay, um, so I'm going to go into my actual program now, and I'll show you why this is really awesome. Um, so this is what my program looks like. <laughs> it is very small. Um, I'm in, I'm including my function dot text, which is my function file and it's a function library. It can have a whole bunch of functions within it. Um, but look at this, CLS under, uh, in brackets four. And uh, yeah, you would probably think, yeah, that's not gonna work, come on. Um, yes, it is, and I'm gonna be able to put up to 10 parameters in there if the function allows it. Um, so when I go to assemble it, this is what it ends up doing. So let's look at the program editor now. Look what it's done. It's uh, I had my um, CLS zero right here. Now instead, it's populating my parameters into the the label names, and then it's jumping to subroutine, uh, which ends up being right here. And then, as you can see, everything's relabeled and it's going to continually do that for all the functions that you created. Um, so let's see what this looks like on uh, so on that one I was loading the color 4 so that would be this is this is going to be like adding basic to assembly language <laughs> uh, pretty much. Um, so yeah I was adding the color 4 okay so that should be red uh, so after I take that and assemble it, like I said, it creates this file here. Uh, we'll save the disk. I've already technically saved it, so let's uh, let's have a look at that. So if we go to VCC, load M test. Boom! Red screen. It's going to be like adding basic commands right into assembly, which is going to be freaking amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a huge breakthrough in my opinion. I don't know why any, no one else has thought of this, but why not have your editor do some of the programming for you? Um, that's exactly what my editor is doing. It's uh, doing relabeling and, and filling the parameters in for you. Uh, basically how however you've set up your your function how you've defined it it'll uh, it'll set it up so I'm gonna get into some more complicated ones and keep building this because uh, this is gonna make programming assembly language so much faster um, especially when you're and it's gonna make your programs look neater uh, I mean look at this this is so tiny uh, I just have CLS 4 uh, <laughs> I mean, all you got to remember is the uh, what's how many parameters are supposed to be in there. Um, I'll probably build something 
to kind of tell you how many parameters are expected for that function. So it's going to be extremely fast. Um, all right, well, uh, leave me some thoughts what you guys think, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what people say. <laughs> I'll talk to you later.